Okay, uh, we're back. We're going to discuss uh, terminal voltage and EMF. Terminal voltage, as I stated here, uh, is the voltage across the terminals of a battery. EMF, or electromotive force, is the rated voltage of a battery. How are they different? So, when the current through the battery, when the current I equals zero, then the terminal voltage is equal to the EMF. So if I draw a picture of a battery, here we have the battery. Now what's inside the where are the first of all where are the terminals? We could say okay the terminals are here and here. Those are the ends of the battery. In other words, if I actually drew the battery itself, right? This is the negative side. This is the positive side. This is the negative side. This is the positive side. So the terminals are where the, the battery contacts something. But what's inside the battery, we can now describe that as there is an electromotive force inside the battery, which is generated chemically. And then there is also an internal resistance with a lowercase r. Okay? So again, we have the terminals of the battery at the same locations. But now what's inside the battery is this internal resistance. Okay, now that internal resistance of the battery will have a voltage drop across it. So let's use some numbers here. Let's say, for example, the elect. Now this is a, a this is a double A battery. Let's say that the EMF. Let's draw this again. And let's say that the EMF is 1.5 volts. And let's say that the current traveling through this, now let's just, we have to draw a circuit in order for it to, um, be a, to have current. This is, the, this is the internal resistance. This is the external load, okay? The internal resistance of the battery is low, okay? Internal resistance is small. But it's not zero. Now remember, these two dots here are the terminals of the battery. So this internal resistance is inside the battery. Now, when we connect the battery to the load, current flows, okay? We're still going to say this is positive and this is negative, and the current's going to be flowing in this direction. Let us assume that the current is equal to 0.2 amps. Now, if that's true, and we're going to set this resistance, this internal resistance, to 1 ohm. So it's very small. So we'll say here that the internal resistance is just one ohm. Notice I'm using a lowercase r for that. What is the voltage drop across the internal resistor? Well, if we use Ohm's law in this case, we say V equals IR across now this point here. Uh, I'm going to use different colored points here. What I'm trying to calculate here is the voltage drop across these red dots. That's going to be 0.2 amps times 1 ohm. That's going to give me 0.2 volts. So you see, now I know that there's 0.2 volts drop. Now, because it's a drop, remember, this is the electromotive force. The electromotive force here um, goes from negative 
to positive. But this bat, this internal resistor, sorry, goes from positive to negative because it's a drop. The electromotive force, the EMF here, oops, let me actually do that in a different color. The EMF is 1.5 and it goes, it's a gain of 1.5. That's why we're going from negative to positive. But the battery here, the battery has a drop of 0.2. So therefore, what is the terminal voltage across the terminals of the battery? Well, the terminal voltage in this case is going to equal 1.5 minus 0.2 which gives me 1.3 volts. So now you see that across the terminals of the battery, once I've connected it to the load, there's 1.3 volts across the battery. Here's a little challenge for you. Try and see if you can determine what is the load resistance in this circuit. Pause the video now and see if you can determine the value of are in this circuit. All right, hopefully you were able to get this. Let's try it. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to recognize using Ohm's law that R is equal to V divided by I. Well, the question now is we know what we know what I is. That's 0.2. But what's the V? Well, we know that as well because it's the 1.3 over the terminal because it's 1.5 minus the drop across the internal resistor so if we put 1.3 here we'll get a resistance of 6.5 ohms now understand that the more the more current that flows through the battery it means that the higher the internal resistors drop will be and now you understand so if we were to actually write an equation for the terminal voltage let's try that so the terminal voltage now is equal to what well, it's equal to the EMF, which is the 1.5 here, minus the current that's flowing multiplied by the internal resistor. So this now is an equation that we can have that relates terminal voltage to EMF. Whatever current is flowing through it, this where the little r here is the internal resistor or internal resistance of the battery. Okay? So understand that if the current equals zero in this equation, then the terminal voltage is equal to the EMF.